to another up close video. Today's one is another one showing you some polka doodle stamps. This is like a little um, mini release that they've done with three little stamp sets. Um, and by the time you see this video, it has already been on Hochanda because it was like um, a last minute kind of a show. So we didn't get a chance to do any samples for the shows that were on the telly. Uh, but I we got the stamp sets. So I have done one card with each of the three different stamp sets just to show you um, like one way of using them so that I could do one of these up close videos for you. So uh, this mini release, I think it's called Bright and Breezy. And this first stamp set is called Perfectly Poised. Um, and it's back to this gorgeous um, doodled cartoony style that um, polka doodles are like known for. I really love this quirky doodly style. Um, I, she kind of, um, Nikki kind of steers away from it sometimes. Um, like the release after this one, it's more realistic looking. But I really do love this doodled style and I cannot wait to find the time to um, do some art journal layouts with all of these gorgeous doodly stamps. Because they're really, I think they really lend themselves to art journaling because they look like you've doodled them yourself and you can just add some zentangle into them or um, mimic the style to sort of build up um, more of a scene with them as well. So this is the first one which is the perfectly poised. I really love this flower. I love this style of flower. Um, there was one in, I cannot remember the name of it, but the previous um, sort of this kind of style release of little stamp sets um, there was one with this sort of style there's one in the other stamp and one of the other stamp sets in this release as well but I really love this style of flower where the petals are sort of drooping away from the the middle of it um, and you've got some gorgeous um, asymmetrical kind of foliage on it as well and I love the wonky style of the the stalks and things so this is the first one then the second one is called Forest Floor. I think this one is my favourite. Just I really love mushrooms and toadstools. I'm not sure why, but I do. Um, and this is that other flower with the, the big centre to it and the petals coming away. I really like that one. Um, I used um, the main three on the card that I've done showing this stamp set. And this one's really gorgeous as well. With It reminds me, this style reminds me of... Um, the film Trolls because I did an art journal page um, with Poppy from Trolls on it and it's all this kind of um, cartoony like crazy sort of made up fantasy kind of flowers and things I really love this style um, if you couldn't tell because I probably said it like five times already um, but yeah this is the the second set which is called Forest Floor and you've got a small little um, toadstool or mushroom in this one as well and I love all the extra little doodles that Nikki adds to her designs I just think they look so good and like you don't have to add much to them at all you could just you could make a set of um thank you cards or birthday cards or something to give someone as a present and just focus on like the three main um, elements just stamp that add the words underneath and color them and you've got a gorgeous card because there's so much detail and I don't know, they're just so gorgeous. Um, but that's the second one. And then the final one is called Reach for the Sky. Um, and I actually used most of the stamps from this set, focusing on these as the focal element and using these three to um, just add some extra detail to the background. But I think these ones, um, again, on an art journal page, having them dangling down or coming up from the bottom of the page or even just using this portion and stamping it down the side of a card to give some um, border detail as well, I think would look gorgeous. I didn't actually use a butterfly in this set, but it's a really lovely side view of a butterfly, which, um, you know, if you had a jelly plate or one of those stamps that's designed for reversing images, you could reverse this as well and have it a complete butterfly. I think that would look nice as a whole butterfly too. Uh, so that is the third stamp set, which is called Reach for the Sky. And I'm pretty sure this is called the Bright and Breezy um, collection. And I'll have all of the links to everything below the video as well. So uh, the first stamp set I showed was this one. And the card I created using this set is this gorgeous rainbow um, colour scheme on the card. And I just ink blended a rainbow sort of going like this. Rather than it being straight across the card, I sort of did um, a sunburst kind of effect. Um, and it goes from... This is just dressings in the background. It goes from festive berries to 
mustard seed and then I overlapped them to get the orange shade in the middle and then I used twisted citron, uh, peacock feathers and wilted violet as well and then I overstamped with this one which you could actually cut off here and it kind of looks like a flower pot or you could have strings coming from the top of it and make it look like a hanging basket as well um, and I just sort of used that design and stamped it multiple times around that sort of sunburst effect and to get a crisper impression I actually used a rainbow of colours from the Nouveau Hybrid ink pads I think it was uh, poppy red, carrot stick, um, rubber duck, lime burst, laguna bay royal plum and siren blue I think's the darkest blue that I used um, just to so I stamped them over the same colour so it's quite subtle but um, I just used a better stamping ink rather than distress ink which is more for blending and techniques and stuff so that I got the um, crisp images on it then um, I Instead of using, I could have just squished out some of my Distress inks and used them to watercolour in the little flowers where I've used um, the three flowers that all have that four petal design to them. However, um, I am working on a video, um, another up close one for Arteza and they sent me their 100 pack of the Twi markers um, and I've really been enjoying playing with these. I actually put them into one of these basket things so it makes it easier for searching for a colour um, but that's what I've used to colour all the images, uh, the main focal images on the three cards I'm showing you in this video um, but they work really nicely. They're a water-based marker, obviously um, I'll tell you more about them in the actual video um, that I'm doing with these but um, they match the distress colours really nicely which is great and um, they're just so easy, like they have such a fine um, tip on them and they also have the finer tip on the other end so if you did want to add any um, Zentangle and stuff to these stamps you've got that fine end on these pens as well um, but they're just so easy like literally minutes it took me to colour these in because it's just um, the ink flows out of these so nicely and you can easily blend in another colour as well if you want to and they work on my normal like 300 GSM white cardstock that I like using but anyway there will be a proper video on these and I'll be raving about them even more in that oh and these are the 100 colours that they come in I'll make sure to link them below as well so that you can see what they are um, but yeah they'll definitely be a full up close video looking at those as well I, I was just really enjoying them I think they work really nicely with these stamps because it just makes it so um, simple and easy to colour the designs in although they do also look um, beautiful coloured in your alcohol pens too because um, I have done that in previous videos but this is um, so this is just using all of those and um, using the yellow as the centres to you know tie the yellow in down the card as well and then um, I decided it needed some more white on it because before I'd put it on the card blank the only white was sort of this sentiment and around these so I got my um, gloss white nouveau crystal drops and if you take the backing I've said this in multiple videos before but you take the backing from um, any double sided adhesive or you can use the stuff that's left over from foam pads or, or even off of your double sided um, foam tape or just double sided adhesive tape as well even if, even though they're thin strips you can still make drops on them as well and then you just take your Nouveau drops do your drops as you usually would and then once they're dry I've be just been storing them in in these little boxes um, I did have a different kind of system before uh, with a different kind of stacking box however I was running out of space in them and as I was getting more colours of Nouveau drops so now I have these which I got from uh, flying tiger it was a little while ago though so I'm not sure if they still sell them but I think it was like two pounds for this so um but they've been really good for housing my drops in I know I've not mentioned them for a while in my video so I just thought I would mention that that's how I got these to stay white because if you did the white drop straight onto a distress ink background they would suck up some of the color um but if you do them pre-made and then keep them in a pot you've got them for sticking on any kind of a project where you really want them to stay white and um, so that's what I've done on this one then the next one was this set 
and this set was called Forest Floor and I created this card with this one. Again I've used the twine markers to colour in um, all of the designs and I also came in with the Secura Stardust pens to add some glitter. I've just drawn like little hearts on the toadstools and um, little scribbles and you can blend them out with your fingers as well. So um, that's what I've coloured that with and I just did a bit of masking with these so the only masks that I made, I just peeled them off because I had them on the packaging, um, was for the the toadstool and the different parts of this flower and then I just um, strategically placed them all over the background to um, create my full design and if you uh, place things at different heights and stuff it kind of makes it look a bit more like it's a different stamp as well so I probably could have offset these a little bit more to make it look less like a repeating stamp but and I also find if you as long as you have three of one of them um, it doesn't really matter how many of the others that you have but I find if you've got three of, of one flower that's really noticeable it kind of ties the whole design together so even though I only have two toadstools and two of these having those three of that gorgeous flower um, it just ties it all together and then you just want to make sure you balance the colours um, as you're colouring it in as well um, and I decided to do this one this way because I could have just stamped all the images separately and cut them all out and then created this kind of a scene. But um, the polka doodle stamps have such gorgeous little extras like the little dots down here or um, these little circles and bits and pieces. And if you trim them out, you kind of lose those. Um, so I thought if I created a whole big cluster and then I could just trim around the edge of it and then I just did a really quick background, I just used some tumbled glass distress oxide with one of those blending brushes and did a really light background. I took a, a Nouveau glitter marker, one of the light blue ones, I think it's called Athenian blue, um, scribble that on my glass cutting mat, water it down, flick it on with a paintbrush and then I also came in with um, a little happy birthday which is one of the polka doodles um, word stamp sets with all the different words in um, and I just added that over the top in the same tumbled glass um, distress oxide as well and then I've just added a few iridescent sequins to finish that design off I really like this one it's really bright and cheerful so is this one actually they're just I think they would brighten anybody's day you could put any kind of sentiment on these gorgeous like bright toned cards and just cheer anybody up with these so I really like that one as well and then the final stamp set is this one which is called no, that's not the final one, is it? It's this one. Yes, it's this one, uh, which is called Reach for the Sky. Um, and this is where I used that floral element and the, the big scribbly leaf as my focal point. And then I did a strip of ink blending down it. Um, I do actually have a video. Um, I think it's a know-how know -how video, or it could have been a background building one. Um, but I did a, a strip of ink blending in a... So I, I did that like real time so you know how I kind of do that kind of thing. Um, but for this one I just did a Twisted Citron Distress Ink. Um, blended that down a little strip of the card making sure it feathered off nicely. And then I took a Twisted Citron Distress Ink and Distress Oxide and um, Shabby Shutters Distress Oxide and I used these three stamps um, just stamping the top portion so only inking up the top portion of these two so I didn't get the stem and the little dotty one and stamping them randomly just to give the background a little bit of like doodled interest and doing it green on green um, it sort of blends in with the ink blending and just gives a nice sort of subtle background to your card and then I also watered down um, a green Nouveau glitter pen uh, it's the morning moss one that I used and splat splattered that on to give a little bit of sparkle and then for the main images again I used the twine markers to colour them in and I did a little bit of glitter using the um, Secura Stardust jelly roll pens um, and then all I did for, yeah all I did for this one it was um, just trimmed out the little flowers and have them cascading down the card now I've made this card it looks very similar to one that I made in a tonic craft kit video if you're a fan of the tonic craft kit and you watch my uh, videos you'll probably know which one I'm talking about but I'm sure I did something similar with this color scheme and flowers and they were just yeah I'm sure it looks very similar um, and then I've just used some of the word stamps as well to create my little sentiment on this and added a few 
um, iridescent sequins too. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little up close video at this small little release. I'm sorry I haven't got more cards to show you, um, but I literally got the stamps yesterday and um, she wants the samples back quickly so I, I wanted to get this um, video filmed for you so you, you've got a little reference to see if you like these kind of stamps as well. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!